beautiful Sagittariuses, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, your November reading. We're going to see what energy comes through for you. Please remember this reading is general. May not resonate with everybody out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest, uh, all that jazz, right? So with that, let's get started. As always, let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest. Let's see what you need to see for the month of November. Please share with my beautiful Sagittariuses. What do they need to see for the month of November? nice I like this energy I'm just I'm channeling as well and so I just definitely get a sense of peace a feeling of peace in the month of November wow so let's see what we have here okay your first card is number 12 which adds up to three its perspective and this is really like seeing things from a different perspective. I definitely get a strong energy. If you're in this place where like you feel things are in limbo, it can also tell me like maybe it's time to do something different or to look at something differently because it says here dare to be different. And it's also a time where I feel like you may be doing like a lot of thinking um, I'm also getting here pause, uh, not pause, but time for a nap, number 24, which is six. And sixes for me are about peace and harmony. And number 12, which equals three for me, is also about something new, okay? So I feel like some of you may be really reflecting during the month of November. Some of you, it may be reinventing yourself. Some of you, it may be like I'm thinking about making changes in my life that bring me peace because I just definitely get a very strong energy of you feeling at peace. The purple cards here talk about the crown chakra. And so you, it may be a month where you just feel like you're getting a lot of insights. Some of you may meditate. That's, you know, the time for the nap as well. Gathering your thoughts. You have the peace card here. This is number 13, which is four. And so this may be surrendering and letting go, okay? It could be letting go of the past, or it may just be in a place where you find your balance, and I feel like you're being guided here to just surrender and let go, right? Let go, let God, uh, you know, surrender to your higher power. You have uh, the three of Gabrielle here, and this is beautiful because I feel like through this, something happens, because you got message in a bottle. So it also shows me there's some sort of important communication coming your way. Now, maybe this is something that has taken some time for this to kind of play out, whatever is going on in your life, but you have prosperity arising from wise planning. Take time to take the next step to optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So Sagittarius, interesting energy because I feel like what happens is like you change your perspective. It can be like new ideas that you have as well. Maybe things that you have been envisioning in the future. I'm going to say this message in a bottle. It can tell me that there is a new love coming into your life. It can also tell me there is somebody that maybe you've been waiting for to hear from because that time for a nap can also tell me that there could be somebody that maybe you and this person took a break. Right? Or maybe you've decided to let go of a past connection. Everybody's in a different place in their love life. But I see change here and I see transformation in your life. So if you haven't been in a relationship for a while, this could tell me a new person is coming into your life. Some of you may be hearing from someone. So let's see what energy shows here with the tarot. But also say here too, if you are looking for a new opportunity in your career and you have been applying for jobs or looking at new opportunities, there's an important message coming in for you.
Wow, I called it. We got strong Pisces on the bottom of the deck with the moon card. All right, let's look at this. You've got the King of Pentacles and you also have here the Chariot. See, I feel like with that new perspective, there's something here about movement. Now, some of you too, I feel that you may be very focused and driven in your career. I'm gonna say if that really describes your situation right now, it's telling me with this King of Pentacles, you're gonna do very well. You're gonna be very successful. Money looks good for you, okay? Something that does feel like uh, money and career is going to be very secure for you. Um, but I'm also feeling like you're moving forward and I just feel like you're in this grounded energy, right? This peaceful, grounded energy. Now, I do see the Hermit here, Strong Virgo, and the Six of Cups. So I definitely get here like you doing a lot of thinking, going within, maybe some of you are trying to navigate a situation of the past is strongly what I'm getting there. Now it could also be somebody here that is thinking of you. So I want to clarify this hermit. Thank you, Spirit. As I am seeing an Ace of Cups here. There's some sort of romantic opportunity coming your way, especially with that message and the Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Hermit. Three of Cups energy, bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at this, page of coin, four of coin. Someone from your past, I feel, has been holding back. You're gonna hear from this person We'll see if this Ace of Cups is a new person, but I do feel there's somebody from your past who is thinking about you. Could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, and the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. See, this person's going to try and connect with you again. I feel this is someone that, you know, there's been some sort of break or separation from this person. Now, the Hermit can also tell me that you're thinking about this person because there is a message here. This person wants the opportunity with you and you're going to have to decide because I'm also seeing here the full card. You may feel it's risky. Got the Ten of Cups here and uh, the Hierophant. So I'm going to say if you want it, there will be an opportunity with someone that you know from your past is going to try and connect with you. I do also feel like this could also be somebody if you go to any events, you know, holiday parties or things like that, you know, or you're out and about in your community. If this person lives in your community, you could even run into this person. But you're going to hear from this person, right? There's the message up there too. But there's something that I feel like you may feel is risky. Let's see what happened in the past. Why is the Six of Cups here? Now, it could tell me this person misses you. But why is the Six of Cups here? Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah. Definitely confirmation this is somebody there was an ending here. Five of Swords. So this could be somebody who played games with you. Could even be somebody who sabotaged this connection. I'm seeing an ending. You do have the Sun card. Oh my gosh, and the Lovers, yeah. They're going to try and rekindle this connection. Could be a Gemini. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. So you're going to see this person try and make effort with you, but they're going to try and rekindle this connection. This is somebody you have a very strong connection with. Could be a past life soulmate connection. Uh, I don't know if I said strong Leo energy. So that's the message I'm seeing. Let's see why this Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups is here. So it's definitely a romantic opportunity. I don't know if this is a, a new opportunity or this same person from the past. Queen of Swords could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Hmm. So interesting. King of Pentacles and King of Cups showed up here. Was somebody, I'm channeling here, somebody very secure somebody confident this is somebody who's pretty sure about you too but i'm also seeing the seven of wands okay 
on the Eight of Cups. This is somebody who is very guarded with their emotions, and I would say this could be somebody very um, emotionally unavailable is the word that I get here, okay? Definitely picking up an earth sign, but yeah, here's another confirmation. Six of Cups and the Four of Cups, hesitant, right? You don't know if this is somebody, it's risky, right? You feel the chemistry and you feel the passion with this person, but it is risky. So that's what I'm seeing here, okay? I feel like you're in a good place, Sagittarius. I have to pull more cards. I'm just going to ask what is the potential here with this person because some of you, some of you may not want this person in your life. But I have to say, this is what's showing. Now, what's interesting is you have the three of Gabrielle up there. That could tell me there could be more than one person here. Okay, I'm picking up one energy, but let's clarify that. Why is that? Why is the three of Gabrielle here? Yeah, see, I keep picking up somebody from the past, somebody there was an ending with. Again, I'm picking up an earth sign, this queen of pentacles. Now, it could be somebody that you're in legal separation with or had a divorce or separation. Why else can, oh, why is the three of wands here? Okay, yeah, I just keep putting, uh, picking up this person, heartbreak, somebody who is feeling lost without you or misses you um, they don't want to give up they don't want to give up on this connection it's strongly what i'm getting okay so for november sagittarius definitely get now it may be what i'm seeing here maybe you're very focused on money and career in november and this person from your past is going to try and come back into your life so it will be up to you. Let's see uh, what else comes through for you. What else does Sagittarius need to know for the month of November? Okay, so you got Divine Vision. And this really talks about, interesting because you had the new perspective. and But this really talks about kind of opening up your intuition, your insights, and letting go of projecting outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond that okay this really talks about positive energy looking deeper right so more just being connected to the divine and that could be with time before a nap right taking time to meditate this card's popping out too yeah you also have ascension you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibration time to soar to new heights okay so this is definitely a thriving energy so i feel like like i said i feel there's something here too with career that um you're moving in that direction where your money is going to increase and you are going to thrive so that could tell me right now right this person could be a distraction of your goals so really just focus i would say with this situation if this is something you're going to allow in your life so or i should say someone you're going to allow in your life then really just be in the flow of things and not really have any projected outcomes like you know, um, you know, this person has to do this and, you know, we're going to, you know, they need to commit to me, right? I feel like you're being guided here. There, It's look at more of the bigger picture and not just in love, but in your money and career because I see you thriving. Yeah, look at that. The next level. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. This talks about expansion, exploring growth. Yeah, see what I feel here? This person may not be in alignment with what you're seeking or what you want in your life. Now, I do have the Feeling Deeply card on the bottom of the deck. And it may be that you feel really strongly for this person. But I feel like there's something more for you. Okay. And I feel like maybe it's around your money and career. Like it's a time for you to really focus on your growth. 
and exploring opportunities. And it could be exploring other love opportunities, but I feel like it's more money and career for you, Sagittarius, right now, because I definitely see here there's heartbreak. And it almost feels like this, this is somebody who is not emotionally um, available. So what is the guidance here for Sagittarius? Wow, you got the frog spirit. This is clear out the clutter. So interesting that that card came out. This is number 28, which is 10. And so I feel with that energy, I feel like this person could be blocking your ascension here. Okay, I didn't show you, but on the bottom of this deck is regeneration. So I feel like you're going, it's also another number 10. I feel like this is a cycle that you're closing out in your life. You've got the electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. See, I feel like there's something here about you. And it's a number six again. Sixes for me are around peace. You also have a number four here. I feel like that you there's something bigger here for you, Sagittarius, not just in love, but for you to really focus on your career, your visions, what you want to do in life, Um and maybe that's the new perspective. And look, yeah, co-create with spirit. And crows for me are all about change. You got, and they can be about chatter too, like chatter in your head. But I feel, this is also number eight. I feel like there are unlimited opportunities that are coming your way. But this other past situation could be cluttering y your mind, okay? And you also have here number 66, which is trust in the magic. I feel Sag overall theme here is that there's something bigger about to happen in your life. And it may be your life purpose. It may be your mission. It may be why you're meant to be here. You may have a special gift that you need to share with the world. But there's something here about taking things to the next level. But this person from the past is going to show up. And you'll have a choice what you want to do with it. But I really feel you're being guided to move towards something bigger. All right. So Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.